Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas Eve here in Alberta, Canada. It's about 4 p.m., 4.15. And uh, if you look out up here, you can see how dark it is out already. So I understand what it's like to walk through dark seasons. Uh, but I always know that there is a light within that dark, uncertain times. And I wanted to share with you a poem that God gave me to write up over 20 years ago now. We don't know what's down the road, and there's a lot of uh, chaos and uncertainty and worry and speculations and everything else going on. Uh, but you know, God still calls us to be the light of the world. And I want to share with you the story of two such lights. So this is called The Blessed Night of Two Souls. Weary, worried and frazzled, frustrated, confused and hurting, two lonely figures made their way into town, a journey they could ill afford, a poor carpenter and his young wife. Life was not easy. Rumors wounded their reputations. Talk of fanaticism, broken dreams and dashed hopes of a groom, longing for a sweet and innocent bride, desperate surrender to their God, relinquishment and determination, bowing to his uncertain will, a cold desert night beyond their strength, their only place of respite, a hovel, the pain unbearable racking her slight body, no mother near, no comforting hand, only a nervous, terrified husband, lost together, but found in their divine purpose, bound by hope, unified by the wonder of the cry of a newborn babe. Human both, they held the incarnate, God accomplished his purposes through two hearts, surrendered to his will. The immortal became mortal that blessed night. So perhaps you're in a season, I know we're all tired of the word season, but perhaps you really are in a time where you think the season's been going on and on. It's only getting worse and worse, and you're wondering if there's ever going to be any daylight. I want to encourage you that yes, there is. You can look at life in two different ways. You can look at it that the dark is only increasing, or you can look at it that the light is shining brighter. It's up to you. Light shines the brightest when we think things are really dark. December the 21st is the longest day of the year, and I actually look forward to it because I know on December the 22nd, it's going to be a little bit more bright. And on the 23rd, a little bit more. Take this day as your own solstice, if you want to call it that, that right now that things are going to shift. Start to look for his light and be that light into a world that is doesn't even know it has questions to ask anymore because they don't know where to go to, where they can hear the truth that will bring them hope and that won't bury them in fear. You can be that beacon of hope, but it's only if you find your hope in Jesus and not in more knowledge about what is happening or what is not happening. Find your hope within him. Find your certainty in who he says that you are. And if you're going, I don't really know this Jesus that you're talking about, let me tell you, you've probably all seen pictures of the nativity of little baby Jesus in a manger. That's only a third of the true story. Jesus lived a sinless life on this earth and he left this earth at the age of 33. We don't know a lot of what Jesus was up to before he turned 30, uh, but we do know that he was raised by Mary and J Joseph, 
Mary was his biological mother. Joseph was his foster father, his heavenly father, God, is the one who sent his son to the world. This wasn't some mean thing that God the Father just decided on his own. No, the Trinity was all involved with this wonderful scheme. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit decided that Jesus would come to earth, bear our sins and all the punishment we deserved for our sins on himself on the cross. And then the rest of the story is that he rose from the dead. So not only did he take the punishment of our sins upon him, he rose from the dead so we can live eternally starting today. So if you think you've screwed up your life way too much, if you've made some bad decisions in 2021, if you've done stuff that you know was wrong when you did it and you know it wasn't just a little mistake, there is a way out of this and his name is Jesus. He is the way and the truth and the life. He came to us as a babe. He showed us how to live our lives that bring love and hope and peace and purpose. And then he died for our sins, rose from the dead, so we could live victoriously with him. And the moment that you say to Jesus, please take my crap, and I'm giving you my whole life, and I'm going to follow you from now on, the moment you say those words out loud, you become a new creation. The old stuff from your past will no longer bear any burden upon you as far as your relationship with God. You might have to do some restitution, going back and cleaning up your mess with people here on, on earth. But on the eternal scale of things, you have a clean slate. And isn't that wonderful news that you can carry into 2020? Merry Christmas.